This is the companion video for class 103, Modeling the Chinese Lantern, Part 2. It is part of the Beginner SL Mesh Modeling Series that I teach at Builders Brewery on Second Life. Last week we made the low LOD for our lantern. Now we want to move up a level and work on the medium level of detail. So let's get into it. While in object mode, right click the lantern. Shift plus D to duplicate it. Now don't move the cursor, just left click so now you'll put it right exactly where it was in the same pace as the original. Use the M hotkey to bring up the layers panel. Click the third square to move the lantern to this layer. Now if you go down here to this header bar and click the third square you'll see your model. Now make sure to select it and then go over here to the objects tab. Click it if it's not already open. And then name this low LD. Now you want to go back to the first layer. So click here the first square and then right click the lantern on this layer go back over to the object tab and change the name to medium LED now you want to Hit the tab key to go into edit mode. Use control plus tab to switch to edge select mode. Of course you could always switch to the um, selection mode down here. You have vertex, edge, face. Now we want to alt right click select the top edge of the left support. So we're going to hold down alt and then right click one of these edges. Okay. And then you want to hold down shift, hold down alt and click bottom edge. Now you have two edge loops selected. Hit on pad 1 to go back to front view. And hit the W hotkey. Bring up the specials menu and go down to subdivide smooth. And if you go over here to the tool shelf, you'll see some options. And we basically want to leave those at the default. Let's go back over to 3D view. And let's do the same thing again over here on this side. Alt, right click an edge. Now hold Shift, hold Alt, right click an edge. Now you have two edge loops selected. Go back to front view, now pad one. W, subdivide smooth. And hit A to unselect. Alrighty. Now we want to right click select an edge on the tassel. I'm going to hold shift and middle mouse button to pan here. Going to right click here and then hit control L to select all the link geometry of the tassel. Shift D to duplicate the selection. Like before, don't move it, just left click. And I'll use the translate manipulator to move this down to match the reference. And now we're going to scale it down by 0 0.95. So type S. And then type 
0 0.95 hit enter and there you go move it down a little bit more now you might want to save this file so you don't have to start over okay so now we're going to move on to the body of the lantern so first you want to alt control select the upper lantern rings hold alt hold control and then just select right click any one of these edge, these ring edges here okay so now you have all the rings around hit w subdivide smooth okay then you want to repeat that process for these rings so alt control right click w subdivide smooth and remember that you have options over here but we're going to leave it at the default so you can just hit a to unselect those All right now we're going to alt right click select one of the new edge loops that we created and hold down shift plus alt and right click the other edge loop so that you have two edge loops selected now scale the selection out using the S hotkey until the width of the edge loops match the lines on the reference image And that's about it. Doesn't have to be perfect at that point. Now hit A to select unselect all. Alt right click select the bottom edge of the top rim. And then hold shift and alt right click the top edge of the bottom rim. Okay, now that you have these two edge loops selected, make them sharp by going to Control E, bring up the edge menu, mark sharp. In the properties window, click the little wrench icon, it's this one. This is the object modifiers tab. Click Add Modifier go down until you see edge split uncheck edge angle and leave sharp edges checked that means that it will just use the edges that be marked sharp to decide where when to split the edges now we have to tab back into object mode because you can't apply this modifier in edit mode now let's click apply now you can see that we have a nice sharp edge here instead of having a really smooth undefined edge alrighty now you want to save again and now we're going to move on to the high LOD this would be the level a person will see when they are close to the object so it needs a little bit more detail